Hello my friends, welcome to Forex with Chaos. Today is uh, 15 of July 2022. Uh, sorry, today a bit late uh, uploading the video because I got something urgent to do in the morning. Uh, nonetheless, okay, we will go through the market uh, shortly. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Subscribe, like, share and comment, support the channel. So uh, after the the CPI numbers, uh, so market US, the US, uh, USD didn't actually strengthen as expected, as I said. Be careful so market is manipulated okay so don't always uh, trade follow the news okay make sure you check out your price action make sure everything looks good then only okay you start to uh, uh, put in your position so let's check out the calendar what's going on today yesterday we got uh, yesterday we got AUD employment change which is strong okay employment numbers which is strong and we got PPI numbers also quite uh, for USD. Uh, okay, the PPI numbers actually went up, producer number, which is not which is good for the USD. And a uh, core PPI also, uh, core PPI dropped a little. Okay, probably due to the uh, uh, core PPI is without the without energy, food energy. Uh, therefore, right, there is a possibility, right, that the uh, that the pricing is is uh. Let me see. Uh, this is without. This is with. Okay, price go up due to the uh, energy. So now energy actually price drop a bit. Uh, okay, so the core PPI actually start to drop a bit. Uh, this is uh, this is something good for the uh uh, uh inflation. Uh, okay, this is good to uh, this is a good sign. Uh, that inflation could be starting. Uh, could be slightly. Slowing down, uh, okay. The 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 inflation in US uh, could be slowly uh, going coming down due to this uh price of goods, uh, okay. Excluding energy, uh, food and energy actually starting to drop a bit, uh, okay. You see when the production producer price goes down, normally the consumer price goes down, right? Okay. So today we got China GDP drop, uh, okay. Ah, this is unexpected. Okay, China GDP drop, uh, this is not good for the Aussie dollar and the uh, uh New Zealand dollar. Uh. So this one you have to be a little careful. Uh, if you are trading the uh, uh Canadian uh the uh Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar. Uh. Retail sales actually up. Okay, this is okay. Okay, retail sales up. Uh, okay, for the for China, which is okay, not too bad. So today market not moving. Uh, probably market is waiting for this retail sales. Okay. If the retail sales uh, uh, data drop, right, okay, this could be a sign that the inflation could so slow down, uh, okay, because if the retail sales is still very high, okay, means people are still buying, right, okay, means people are still buying, then the inflation would continue, but if the retail sales report actually goes down, right, so there is a possibility that uh, inflation could start to slow, so we want to, uh, also we got a uh, uh, preliminary University of Michigan consumer sentiment, uh, okay, they expect a drop from 50 to 49. So do watch out this one, okay? These are the one that you might want to see tonight, uh, okay? We are trading USD, but Friday normally it's not a very good day to trade, uh, okay? Because Friday the trading day is short. Not to say the trading day is short because we are going into the weekend. So a lot of these are uh, investor traders they don't hold through with the weekend, okay? So a lot of investor who who buy maybe they will hold their position two three days. On Friday, okay, they will hold, they will not hold, they buy and they, they and the, and, the, and the, they will take profit the same day. So the market is a, a bit erratic, uh, okay, so we have to be careful trading on Friday, especially Friday, okay. So let's check out the chart. Look at DXY, uh, okay, so DXY is still unable to break through this one, uh, okay, the top channel. So uh, with a big tail, so there is a lot of resistance at the top here, okay, there is a lot of resistance here. At the top channel, and uh, also uh, one one zero eight seven point seven zero. Okay, so this one we have to wait and see. Okay, P Friday, as we said, could be the turning point. Okay, if the data today is unfavorable for the USD uh, tonight, uh, okay, all the data is unfavorable, unfavorable for USD. This could be a turning point. Uh, okay, today could be a turning point. Okay, so next week we will start to short the USD. Okay, so. Uh, so today my mentality is wait and see. Okay, most likely I will not 
open uh, uh, many position if i open also i would i would just open a small position just to you know lah, uh, just to stay in the market okay so uh look at this uh uh oh you oh sorry uh, i forgot to play the disclaimer uh. give me a second uh. let's do the disclaimer first Disclaimer, be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay. So, uh, this could be a turning point tonight. You have to wait and see. Okay, British Pound. British Pound doesn't look like it's going to turn. Okay, British Pound looks like it's going down. It's going down. Okay. It, uh, it should be coming down to this lower level here. Okay. British Pound looks like uh, going down so uh, tradable probably British pound tonight is tradable today uh, Swiss franc Swiss franc is consolidating okay this franc we can't see a proper level here okay but uh, in the short term is is slightly strengthening okay it's neutral uh, let me put it neutral okay uh, pound is weak euro is weak uh, USD is strong but tonight could be the turning point uh, okay so better be careful uh, Japanese yen, okay. Japanese yen is a uh, weak, okay. After a, a big breakdown, after the price broke down, uh, okay, there they should be some retracement before it goes up. So, this one you have to be careful also because today is Friday, the market is not moving. Okay, normally after such a big move, right, there, there should be a slight retracement, okay, maybe a 50% retracement before the uh, uh, price continues to go down. So, this one we have to wait and see. Uh, Canadian dollar or oh, Canadian dollar very volatile so starts to drop again Canadian dollar is not in a good position you know why because the oil price has, is dropping uh, okay the oil price you see uh, it's continue going down now it's going down to 90 it's uh, now, now it's 96 uh, okay so the price the 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 the, the, the oil price is not, not not favorable for the Canadian dollar so look at Aussie dollar Aussie dollar okay Aussie dollar we got pin by here so tonight also could be a turning point so this one we have to be very careful trading this okay so the price is slight slight slightly starting to go sideways New Zealand dollar also continue to be sideways okay the price wants to drop and it's not in, and get supported AUD also the price try to drop it gets supported okay so uh have to be careful okay probably uh all of this is still weak the XY is still strong but there could be a reversal tonight uh, okay uh euro USD Okay, you know, you see, we got a, we got a, we, we, we got a tail bar over here. Okay, so there is support at 0 0.99839. So there is a, a possibility that there is a reversal coming tonight. Okay, there is a reversal coming tonight. So you have to watch out for this. And uh, uh, for now, okay, because we got one pin bar at the bottom, one, 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 one bearish pin bar, one uh, bullish tail bar. So we, I put it neutral first. We can't see a proper direction. Pound USD, okay. Pound USD probably you want to go down, okay. They have some support over here, but the higher prob prob probability is for it to continue to go down, huh? okay. Slight retracement, I think this is going down. You see JPY, you see JPY also, okay. After it breaks through, uh, uh, uh one three seven point seven seven seven, right? Uh, the price is stop here, but I do think a a a, a, a bigger pullback there will be some pullback i do think there will some they are they are going to have some pullback so this one continue watch and see okay not a very good pair to trade but it, this is tradable okay it, it it could continue to go or it could just sideways a bit before it goes again so this one uh tradable but uh, maybe not today maybe wait for monday aussie dollar we got pin bar over here aussie dollar okay aussie dollar we got pin bar so there is a possibility the, the price might rebound uh, tonight uh, okay so this one you have to uh, we have to wait and see okay the the, the price starting to go sideways uh, you have to see uh, the price is starting to 
why you want to see the why, why I'm saying the price starting to go go sideways. You see, uh, the price always close near, very nearby. You see, uh, all these are all the closing point, right? All the close, close, close. Uh, all the close, right? You see, the close is very near. Okay, so you, when you see all the closing is very near, right? It is a sideways price action, right? Okay. If if in a in a in a in a trending day, right? In a trending day, you see that uh, the price actually close here. It close here, right? It close. Here. It, it has a big gap, okay, on the closing, okay. You see, after this, the rebound it close here. You see, it never close together, right? It never close together, okay. Okay, it never. The price never close together. You get it, okay? So you see, ah, uh, it, it close. This one it close here. It close here. It close here. It close here. You see, right? The closing point of the of the a candle right is almost all flat almost flat right almost flat okay so this is a very sideways price section so it's, it's never a good a good thing to trade this type of uh, price section uh, okay this type of price section okay so uh similar NZD VSD also right you see uh, right it's all closing all the price closing nearby so we want to wait for a big uh, a close that is far above or below this area, then only one to trade. Okay, so this one we do have a pin bar here, so there is a reversal. I think probably tonight it will reverse. Okay, the higher prob probability tonight is going to reverse. Why? Why? Why do I think tonight is going to be? It's going to reverse. Okay, first thing because the CPI number. Okay, the big CPI numbers. Okay, uh, view normally after big CPI numbers, right? A lot of these are uh, investor. We'll start to long the okay. We'll start to long the USD, long the USD. Okay, this is when the institution okay will come in, push the price down, and take out all this position. Okay, you don't you, you know why they want to take out all this position? <laughs> because when someone lose, someone win, right? When you lose the money, someone win the money, right? Okay, so be careful USD cat. USD cat also at uh, price at top channel. Uh. Okay, so this one also be careful price at top channel. So this one, uh, I think probably will sideways for a while. So it's not very good to trade USD Swiss franc also. USD Swiss franc also start to uh, sideways a bit between between here and here. Okay, zero point nine eight. Five four four zero point nine seven four seven one. Okay, so it's starting to sideways. So this one also, I'm not too keen to trade this one. As as you see, right? Yesterday we also got one pin bar, small pin bar, another big pin bar here. So so the probably the higher probable probability the direction will be down. Ah, uh, will be down. So we, we still uh, have to wait for the for the next move coming okay go this is go unexpected okay i i thought that the goal is going to rebound over here but it did not so this is unexpected go drop again uh, okay so uh it looks like go is really going to one six eight four okay go okay probably you want to trade you can trade go continue to sell uh oi oi we got a pin bar over here yesterday so there is a possible uh, a rebound Okay, before it's starting to go down again, a rebound back towards this area. A rebound back towards 101. Uh, okay, before probably it will continue to go down. So a rebound possible. Uh, SPI is still sideways. There's nothing we can do here. Uh, the DEX. Okay, DEX start to drop. But DEX got some support over here. 1, 2, 4, 7, 5. A very strong support. Uh, okay, very strong support over here. So uh, there is a probability if you have a short term rebound before it, it goes down again. So this one, uh, I think the direction you want to go for now is a short term for is a buy. Next stack, okay. Next stack, we got a pin bar over here. Okay, so next stack also probably there is a small rebound coming. A small rebound coming. Okay, one uh, towards one two one zero nine. Uh. Okay, so there is a psychology that. The the uh, the the stock market could turn around, even though the high inflation number. Because why, 
because now the market knows that this uh, Fed okay, will be aggressive uh, okay, to take out this, uh, take out this uh, high inflation. So there is a probability that the market, okay, the, 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 the stock market right, will start to react uh, positively due to the, okay, due to the, uh, 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 this uh, uh, strong uh, response from the Fed. Okay? So therefore, dollar might drop. Okay, so you, you, you always when whenever we think right, okay, in, in especially trading forex, right, we need to have a contrary psychology. Okay, means what the mass market is thinking. Mass market see CPI number high, right? Okay, inflation number went to nine point one. Okay, inflation nine point one percent. So everybody will think that the the US dollar is going to continue to strengthen. The stock market is going to drop. But market most of the time is the other way around okay that's why people lose money because the mass majority the mass market the mass uh retailer okay they 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 will always goes against the mass retailer okay due to a uh, okay due to a uh, due to the reason that there is okay there is money a lot of money on the table right okay for the institution to pick up okay three seven four two s p okay s p also we got pin bar over here a tail bar a pin bar okay so there is a possible rebound so i'm actually looking uh, okay if you're looking for a a weak you uh, strong usd okay and a and a weak market i am thinking the other way way around i think there will be a strong uh, rebound on the stock market and a drop on the usd tonight we'll see okay i'm not i'm not saying that i must be correct but i have a hunch that it could happen tonight okay you see right Dow Jones we got a pin bar over here so there is a possibility of a rebound tonight okay so that's it for today I'll talk to you again tomorrow uh, Saturday with our weekly analysis stay safe bye bye